Good morning, folks. Couple sun diving comets, bottom right, coming in on the Kreutz family line. We're just about opposite side of the solar system from their pathways now. Neither of them made it into the corona before evaporating. Today we watch the return of the negative coronal hole, brown dwarfs dancing only six light years away, Orion's future, and ingredients for life in space. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're entering the throes of solar minimum. No solar flares, no solar wind impacts, all is calm in those active regions that were turning across the disk, never made it, erased by the Earth-facing quiet. Next chance for mature sunspots is incoming, just south on the eastern limb. Four hours after the last coronal hole set an earthquake watch, a filament eruption cannibalized the coronal hole. Small ones face us now, but over to the left, incoming is another slightly larger dark patch that is showing as red on gong, so it is indeed the return of the southern IMF, and it is indeed creeping in towards the Earth-facing position now. 400 light years away in a young star region of Ophiuchus, the same stars that showed sugar signatures in nearby space have now shown methyl isocyanate, a major amino acid molecule. The ingredients for life surround that burgeoning star system around a number of the stars. Up next, we're watching the future of Orion. The simulation shows the expected migration of stars across the skies over the next 450,000 years. Orion gets decapitated. Last but not least, folks, this has been one of the coolest discoveries the last few years. The system was first noted back in 2013, is the third closest star system to ours at only six light years away. Its brown dwarfs are dancing with each other as they orbit only three AU from one another, about as far away as our asteroid belt from the sun. Just very, very cool stuff there. In North America, tonight the strongest storm system aims at the hat of that low crossing the landmass. Strong storms up in Canada take the highest threats today. We are also going to be keeping an eye on that tropical system off the west coast of Australia. It appears to want to head towards the northwest coast of the country. I've got the wind maps for the rest of the world. Null school run up through the atmosphere and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.